Well, hi guys, welcome back to the Welsh Beast YouTube channel. Now, I just want to give a quick reaction to today's remarkable game at the race course. Wrexham beating Barnet 7-5 in a thriller, in a roller coaster. Who saw this coming? Nobody in the world. You know, I knew Wrexham were going to score goals. I expected them to win 4-1. I wasn't expecting this. You know, today we had everything. You know, spectacular goals, deflected free kicks, a penalty, goals that could have been easily prevented, goals from every aspect of the pitch, spread around the team, lots of players chipping in, it was a dirty game, both sets of players were fired up and were getting stuck in. It was quite fiery at times. But today we saw the best and the worst of Wrexham. Their firepower up front, their goal scoring power and their, their frailties at the back. They started the game really well. They needed to. They needed to respond to losing to Notts County on Tuesday. And they did start well. They got forward really well. In numbers, there was always four or five players in the box. That Hayden driving forward from defence, looking to create opportunities. Ford, he was glued to the touchline, you know, creating you know, space for the team. Stretching the defence. And Wrexham, once they went 1-0 up early on, you knew this was going to be a good day. You knew, you felt they were going to get many more goals. They were brilliant in defence to start with, well organised. They got back behind the ball when they lost it. Very strong, very disciplined, very organised. First 20 minutes, Barnett wasn't there. They offered nothing. They were feeble, they were flimsy, they were weak. They were no threat at all. Then from nowhere, they scored two goals. Two goals that should have been prevented and stunned everybody. Not the stuffing out of everybody. Wrexham has shown their character, their quality, their firepower. Got back into the game, leading at half time. And you never felt Wrexham were going to lose the game. You never felt there were any serious trouble. They were always the better team. They were always, you know, you could always see the quality was there. So it was never a concern. I always felt they would have scored many more goals. They were always capable of matching and overtaking anything and overpowering anything Barnett could offer. They're just a better team all round. But when Barnett made it 3-3, you're thinking, you know, it's, it's game on here. Because Wrexham had lost that shape. They'd lost that discipline. They were edgy, nervous. It was a scrappy game. Both sides creating lots of chances. You know, far more than Barnett should have been. They had two players up front who scored some goals. Kanu and Kabama, very, very good players. Always causing trouble, always a threat. And Wrexham did look vulnerable and disorganised and edgy at the back. Certainly in that scrappy, dysfunctional second half. But when they made it 7-3, you, you knew it was game over. You knew it was impossible for Barnett to get back into it and to win the game. Or even get a draw. You knew Wrexham were too far ahead and were too much in control, really. Even though the threat was still there, Wrexham could have had more goals. I thought they were going to get more goals. But to their credit, Barnett continued to threaten, continued to create half chances. And the last, the last 10 minutes, they could have got more goals. 
They had chances they shouldn't have been having. But Wrexham got through it, a 7-5 victory in a, you know, an astonishing game. They remain second in the National League after Noss County won today as well. But they should not be conceding five goals at home. They've got to, this has got to be a one-off. And they've got to start, start scoring more away. But they've done the business. Eventually, they responded to losing to Noss County. Job done. Make this a one-off. And it's the FA Cup next week. Cheers, guys. I'll see you on the next video.